Navuye muri isi Abayinjiye mu yindi si yitwa yiteka Twavuye mu iteka Turi mu gihe gitoya Ariko ubwo turakomeza turagenda mu iteka Icyambere ugomba kubasa gukura mu niki Tabura umuntu wi gihe gitoya Nano gungana ni imyaka y'amavuko yawe Uragana no mugambi w'Imana the same the age as the, the plans of God. God. Urangana no mugambi w'Imana. You're the same age as the plans Urangana of God. Urangana ni mitekerereze y'Imana. You're the same age as the mind of God. Urarutigi he cyabayeho. You're more than the the, the present. Uri, uri, the past. The past. Urarutani ge turimo. You're uh, more than the time we're in. Hanyuma urarutani ge kizaza. And you're more than the time. Bibiliya yavuze ngo Because the Bible says Imana yafashe ibitekerezo by'igihe kite. God brought the mindset of the eternity. We bitekera mu mutima w'umuntu. I'm gonna make people turn and look at the time. But it's not a problem. Um, I have to thank God. But because God opened the door for me to be here, I thank the board of the church. I thank the pastor and his wife. We became siblings. And then we became friends of the church. I saw a lot of people I know. Thank God. Amen. 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 Yes. Um, I was here uh, in the last uh, July. And we had a good time. Um, thank God for coming here. Uh, we thank you for welcoming us in a good way. God bless you. And we had a good time. Pastor Eugene and his family. You guys have a good pastor. I don't like to talk about people a lot. And I don't like people who talk about me a lot. Pastor Eugene is a good pastor. But because of the values of his life that we know, I thank God that you guys have a good pastor. And he keeps doing good with the leadership of the church. I thank God to see a lot of people here. There's a lot of people who know us when we were still students. We thank God for seeing Mama Beza. Uh, he, there's a lot of history. Uh, I want us to talk about the word of God. I'm gonna put everything in a summary. Before we talk, I, I preach, I'm going to say my name. My name is Albert Muhumure. I live in Holland. I've been there for 12 years. This is my 13th year. I'm married. I have three kids. I serve God in Eshala International Church. And that's the summary of about me. If you want to know more, we can talk. But let's read the word of God. Uh, before we read, I want you to tell your neighbor, Enjoy. Enjoy. Bon appétit. 
Turasoma igitabo cy'ibyakozwe n'intumwa. We're going to read the book of Acts. Igice ni cya 13. Numurongo wa 36. Zakozwe n'intumwa. The book of Acts. Igice ni cya 13. Chapter 13. Numurongo wa 36. Verse 36. The Bible says. Nuko David amaze gukora iby'Imana yashatse mu gihe cyarasinzira ashirwa kuri basekuruza arabora. Uh, for David, after he had served his own generation by the will of God, he fell on sleep and was laid unto his fathers and saw corruption. David amaze gukora iby'Imana yashatse mu gihe ke arasinzira ashirwa kuri basekuruza arabora. Uh, he, after he had served his own generation by the will of God, he fell asleep and was laid into his father's corruption. Uh, I want us to read the book of Ecclesias. It's chapter 3. Chapter 3, verse uh, 11. Igice cya gatatu mubwiriza numurongo wa 11. Chapter 3 verse 11. Bibiliya iravuga ngo ikintu cyose yakiremye ari kiza mu gihe cyacyo kandi yashize ibitekerezo by'igihe citeka mu mitima yabo. The Bible says he hath made everything beautiful in his time and he set the word in the, in the, the world in their heart so that no man can find out can find out the work that God made from the beginning to the end. Ndashaka dusubiramo. Ikintu cyose yakiremye ari kiza mu gihe cyacyo. He made everything beautiful in his time. Ariko ndashaka kusurinya aha hantu bavuga ngo kandi yashize ibitekerezo by'igihe citeka mu mitima yabo. And he he set the world in their hearts so that no man can find out the work that God made to the beginning and end. He said the mindset he put eternal mindset in our hearts in this time i want to talk about the word that says serve uh, working for the kingdom of god have and having eternal mindsets working for the kingdom of god also having the mindset of eternal life I want you if you don't take everything but stay there so working for the kingdom of God and having the mindset of eternal life God he lived uh, forever and ever I want you to guys to follow so you won't get lost there are singers who sang and said I called them and it, it went far. They said that God uh, he found himself. He found himself. He found himself. He found himself. I told them that's a strong word. God didn't find himself. He, he's been there. He's been there before time. If you find yourself somewhere, it means that some, some other power put him there. Where could he find himself? He was there before time. He was there before heaven and earth. He was there before the beginning. He's a better than the beginning and the end. In him, there is no past and present. And that's why we say he's the God. He's above the time. He was there when the, everything was not there. And his uh, purpose is to create somebody who's going to live eternal life. There's a man who, who led this world. He said God is not weak to uh, create a person who's going to live for a short time. The Bible says God created man when he found from the 
send. He breathed his, in his nose. And a person became a whole. And they had eternal life. And in his plans. Is for this person. To be like how God was. Because God is forever. He, he created a person so they can live for eternal life. But he took a person. He put them in a short time. Which is nine months. This is somewhere we all have to pass. God continued. He took from there. He put him in the world. The world we live in. It's a place we live when we don't know the time we're spending. We don't know the time we're going to get out. Uh, follow me. We, we aim from uh, forever. Because God is for forever. We were, we were in his plans. When a child is born, they come from eternity. But God puts him in nine months. And after nine months, God brings him out. He, he put him in the words, in the world. If you learned math, you know. T is equal to X. In the time and the person keeps fighting. In a time that's unknown, a person comes out and he 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 After coming from this world, they're entering another life of eternal life. After coming from eternity, and we're there for a short time, but the journey is going for eternal life. What you need to know is this. You're not a person of a short time. And you're not equal to the your year. How old you are. You're uh, you're uh, the same age as the plans of God. You're the same age as the plans of God. You're the same age as the, the, same age as the, same age as the uh, mindset of God. You're more than the the, the present. The past. The past. You're uh, more than the time we're in. And you're more than the time that's Because the Bible says God brought the mindset of the eternity. He put it in the heart of a person. That's why God said the heaven in my chair and the world is the chair of my legs but I can't get out of the house that you would build but one place I could fit is is some, somewhere that has eternity and that's her heart of the a person and the heart of a person even if they're uh, poor I'm not going to disrespect it that's where I'm going to live so we're people of eternity we came from eternity we're in a short time but the journey is still going we're going in eternity we're people with eternity in us that's why I wanted us to have that mindset why should we have that mindset because the person who created us is for eternity and he created us to live for eternal life and what the kingdom means. We're not people who die and finish. We, uh, we get out and go. All the books. Uh, all the hospitals. All the hospitals. They have uh, two two uh, houses. They have maternity and the morgue. The morgue is this. What's maternity? Dore, Dore. Maravindo Shava, ma'am. Mozi maternity. You guys know. Maternity. Maternity. Ni chambu. Uh, it's a border. It's a border. It's a border. Where people come when they're coming from eternity. And they come in the world of uh, a morgue. It's a 
It's a board. It's a bridge. People who go when they're going to eternal life. Maternity is. It's a door that makes us enter. That makes us to enter the world in a short time. What's the more? It's a work that puts us in the world of eternity. And you see somebody gets buried. And they said he was born. And they put a line. And they say he left this time. But he continues. I want to remind you your journey doesn't end in America. Your mindset should end here. It should pass the country that you're in. It should pass the life that you're living. In the mindset of God, we should be going for eternity. And that should change change the way we live and that should change the way we live with and people that should change the way we serve God because we're still going to the journey of eternity that's what should change your mindset you're here for a short time you have a short time to be here but your life is continuing how you live here that shows how you're going to live in eternity the, how you're using the days here, that's gonna lead your eternal life because in eternity there's two roads there's a road that leads you to destroy, destroy and there's a, a road that leads you to living eternal life in paradise your choice in this short time is what gonna determine where you're going you're gonna make the choice you're one to make the choice what God to do that should change your mindset and you should know that you're here God bless you let's say amen let's say amen that should change if there's something that changed my life it's the time on I remember that there's a time where they're going to put me in woods and they're going to put nails in it and then I'm going to be put in a hole and then they're going to cover it and they're going to say bye that's the motivation that took me from holding it made me leave my job the singers were saying he's coming but some when I was looking at them and I, I would see that they're not ready when I was checking I saw that they were not ready if he came right now the things you were saying would you go would you go would you go, you go? the message we're giving it's not words it's life it's real things you guys are talking about the person who left he didn't know he was living. Death is alive. And if it's not there, coming, you living this world is a short time. It's not scaring you. And it's not uh, making you scared. But it's the truth. When that thing is there, but you haven't accepted it, you're going to live a bad life. You're going to work bad. I want that to change your mindset. I want you to know that you're here for a short time. And for the plan is to continue in eternal life. Choose the decision of living how God wants you to live. Choose the decision of living how God wants you to live. Choose a decision of living how God wants you to live. That's the first lesson. We're people of a short time. Let's say amen. Amen. Let's say amen. Uh-huh.
Ngazamu yang kamu masukkan kita dog. Bamu bamje. Hey, nana, wima kugirango, kugirango, duru we, no mo gisha, ukome ye ku. Let me say a few things. A person that should know after knowing that they're here for a short time. The first thing is choosing to serve God. That's uh, something that's for eternity. Because the others finish uh, early. What is serving God? Uh, uh, some things uh, finish in definition. Some things fail in not knowing the meaning of the word. Uh, how you explain things, that's what makes uh, people understand. People don't know the meaning of serving God. Corinthians, in the book of Corinthians chapter 10. Uh, uh, chapter 10 verse 11 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 11 when you eat, when you drink, or anything that you do, uh, do it with a reason that, ha that has to praise God, that has to uh, respect God. Uh, the Bible, when it says eating and uh, drinking, and it adds more, serving God, this is serving God. It's anything that you do with the reason of, uh, of uh, respecting God. If you have a reason of uh, uh, respecting God, having a reason of God to be praised, that's serving God. Uh, one day when we gave birth to our second kid, I was so happy. <laughs> and I heard a voice that said, you're happy that you have a kid. The kid is not yours. I gave you a job to raise my kid. You have to give a report of the kid. That kid is not yours, it's mine. Raising a kid is, is knowing that you're raising for God. The problem we have is that we put things in our name that's not ours. <laughs> uh, I was shocked because of how we think we own things that we don't own. We want to make things our own. My kids, my job, my money, my body, my house, my church, and it's all yours. And you're the boss. And you're the owner. And you're the owner. You who there's nothing you have, you have it. The breath you bring, the breath you bring, the breath you bring, the body you were given, it came the same way. The reason you sing is because of God. You waking up is not because of you. Driving is not you. You're here because of the time God gave you. You're not given the money for nothing. You're not given the family for nothing. You're not giving a, a wife and a husband for nothing. 
You are not given a citizenship for no. God can't do anything with that. It's not for you to be happy. Anymore. It's not for you to eat and drink. You are given so you can use God. You are given so you can serve God with it. At the end of the day, you are a report. At the end of the day, you're going to give a report. Because it's not yours. I came to take things from you. God wants so he can take his things back. Everything that you're going to do with the reason of praising God if maybe with your maybe with your maybe with the motive of uh, serving God. You're going to be serving God. People think that serving God is preaching, is singing, is giving anything. Anything that you do and the reason that you're going to be doing it is God that, that's a way of serving God that's what I want you guys to change that's what I want you guys to change because when people haven't changed that mindset they think people are doing uh, like that like like but you should do things while serving God that's the first thing and the th- everything you do make sure that you're serving God that you're serving because you're doing something because of God and you're doing something because you're alive uh, take yourself away from don't be the center of what you want amen amen amen, amen. 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 Another thing. Uh, for somebody to start serving God with their eternal mindset. There's somebody, nobody who serves God if they were not born. Last time I came, a uh, pastor's wife was about to give birth. If we told her to tell the kid to serve God, that was not possible. It's, um, it's important for somebody to be born first. That's, uh, that's why he told uh, John in the book. They were exchanging conversations. And Jesus said, it's important for you to be born first. And then he asked, am I going to go back in my mother's stomach? And he said, you're supposed to be born again in the Holy Spirit. You were born in your body, but you need to be uh, born again in the Spirit. The message that God sent, it was talked by John. John the Baptist. John the Baptist. He said, told people that uh, repent, repent. Be- because the heaven of God is coming. When Jesus was about to say his message, he told people to repent because the heaven of God, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God was coming. The kingdom of God is coming. Peter was about to preach for Pentecost. And people asked, what do we do? Peter said, repent. After Jesus was rose again, uh, he showed himself to the disciples. He said, preach to the people to repent. He told them that people need to repent. You guys know that people don't preach about repenting anymore. People talk about many, uh, the development, uh, knowledge, uh, uh, intelligence, but you guys need to repent. Uh, the way to be born again in, is to repent. You have to repent. 
you have to repent. Kwihana. Repenting. Mukigiri kibisi tukwa metanoia. Metanoia. It's called metanoia. Biravu kango ni U-turn. It's a U-turn. Guhindu kira. You were looking there. Your direction was the world. Your direction was the world. But when you heard the message, you turned to the direction. You turned to the kingdom of God. You turned to the eternal life. It's changing your direction. And changing your mindset. That's what's called repentance. It's changing. Coming from coming from bad, coming from sin. There's people who's been in church for a lot of years, and they're sinners. The things they change is where they do it. They're sinners of the church. And those people, it's hard to change them. They fornicate in church. They lie in church. They curse in church. They destroy homes in church. And they lie that they're going to heaven. Repenting. The the kingdom of God is if you haven't repented if a person is not repenting they can't serve God it's impossible for them to serve God it's impossible for them to serve God let me ask you if you had a lot of money and you wake up in the morning and you go to the bank and you say keep this for me and, when, if, and you haven't opened a bank account. They're going to call you crazy. Uh, they tell you that you skipped a step. They say you have to open a, uh, an account first. Your name needs to be in the system first. And you get a bank account. So it, that your wealth can be going there. But if they keep it. You, they're not going to find it. It's just going. There's a lot of people that do good works but they're not in the system of God. Uh, those uh, works are just Even if you do good but you're not in the system your works are for nothing. Uh, what, what destroys us is that we made everything about the religion. Uh, the kingdom of God is the country. It's a country that has a system. Because the Bible says there's two books. There's a book of... Uh, the, the book of life. The book of life. And the book that has all the names and of people. And there's another book of the records of what we do. If the, even uh, what they're going to be saying about us. It, it's not for life. They're going to be, the, uh, be looking for the book of the records. You have to make sure you have an ID for heaven. So you have to make sure that your name is written in the book of the records. The disciples uh, were uh, working and they went to give a report to Jesus. They said, don't be happy because of that. Be happy that your name is written. And the others are going to come next. If you go to the university and go study, and you study the first and second and third year and you finish, and you're smart and you have a, lot, a good grades, and you haven't even registered to get a, a diploma, you're not in the system. Here in America. If you don't have an ID, if you don't have an employment card, Security if number. If you don't have a social security, no, how would they see you? You're not in the system of America. There's people who are not in the system of the kingdom of God. There's people heaven doesn't know. But illegal. They're illegal. They're not allowed. They're, they're known. They're, we can't find them anywhere. This time, I want you to register your name. 
be born again. Be alive. That's the second thing. The third thing, when somebody is born again, they have to be raised. A, a, a kid that's born, before they start uh, serving God, they have to be raised. Uh, being raised, there's uh, being fed, there's being uh, protected from the sun and rain, there's being cared for by parents. Those things, those are prayers. That's the word. That's uh, how <laughs> serving God. That's how it's that's raising. After somebody is raised, they grow up. Hello. Amen. 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 There's a lot of Christians I hear. I used to pray like that when I was a kid. They said, I want to grow in the spirit. Pastor, Pastor, uh, growing is is nature. It's a, it's a nature. It's a. It, it's something that happens after being raised. If you are fed, and you are protected from diseases, and you were uh, bathed in. Uh, and you were breastfed, and you were put to bed. Growing is automatic. Uh, people have problem of growing. It's a kid who's sick and they said the, the medicine is to shave their head. Give them milk. You're going to be solving the problem. Amen. 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 The reason the uh, Christians don't grow is because they didn't eat. It's because they didn't eat the word of God. It's because they don't eat the word of God. They eat fries. But when it comes to life, and you're there that you're going to grow. Yeah. You should eat uh, protein. Uh, the things that protect you from diseases. Uh, you should eat the things that make your bones strong. And you eat food. And you eat the food. And then you grow. Growing just becomes automatic. After somebody grows, they work. There's nobody who uh, works after they work for God. They start working for God. They work for God. With the mindset, they work for God. Uh, with the, his they work for God. They work for God. Wasn't your daughter but if you tell her to lift this, will she lift it? Huh? She's not grown yet. We have Christians that are growing in the house of God, but they're not growing. You're going to see how they act. They're uh, newborns. They need diapers. They need diapers. Uh, being fed. That's something after serving God. You should serve God. You should serve God in everything. This is what I'm going to say. Amen. 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 When we start serving God, we should serve God how, how God wants us to serve Him. The, bu uh, the, bu the book in Matthew says 11. 
Matthew 11. And, uh, uh, verse 28. The, it says, you who are tired. Come to me, I'm going to make you not tired. Agree to be my servants and let Agree to be my servants and learn from me. Learn from me so what I do you can do. Serve me and learn from me. That's what Jesus says. And he said, if somebody serves me, let them follow me. Because where I am, that's where my servant is going to be. This is how it is. This is what God is saying. If somebody agrees to serve me, follow how I'm going. If I go like this, they go like this. If I uh, turn around, turn around. But how I do is how it's going to be if somebody serves me let them follow me if they serve me let them follow me and if they work in that way God is going to uh, respect them if a person uh, follows me following how it's supposed to be God is going to God is going to respect them. He told Timothy, he said, uh, chapter 2, verse 4, he says, you can be a soldier and you can uh, be living a normal life. In other words, there's no soldier who can have a normal life like Contradiction. a civilian. Uh, you're a uh, being abnormal. The person who wrote the book of the Hebrews, he said, uh, focus, on Jesus. focus on Jesus. Because that's the person who's going uh, to miracles. He told the Corinthians, uh, chapter 9, verse 25. He said, uh, a person who's competing uh, protects themselves from everything. He says, some people do things so they can get the rewards of the world. But as we do that, so we can uh, get the crown of the Lord. The fourth thing. I was saying about serving God how you're supposed to. Don't serve God how you think you should. Serve God how God put it. Amen. 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 Another thing. Jesus said. Uh, he said. He said. In Matthew, you who are tired, come to me, I'm going to make you not tired anymore. Agree to be my servants and learn from me. There's a special word. Because serving me, it's not hard. It's God who says that. And the, uh, the, what I give you to carry is not heavy. Why do we say serving God is, is a lot? And God says no. He says serving me. It's, it's not tiring. And he says what I'm going to make you carry. It's not heavy. You know people, a lot of people say yes, uh, serving God is hard. But God said it's easy. <laughs> He says serving me is, is, is not hard. It's easy. We just ma made it tough. But it's easy. How is it easy? Why is it easy? Because God asks us to serve him in the uh, in the way he gave us. The ability. In the ability he gave us. God doesn't ask you to do th what he didn't give you. In Matthew uh, chapter 25 verse 15. Uh, some people he gave them five uh, talents. Others he gave them two talents. And others he gave them one. And how a person. Huh? 
Agize ate. And how a person is able. Uko umuntu wese agize gute? Ashoboye. How a person is able. Ntabwo Imana igusaba gukora ibyo udashoboye. God doesn't ask you to do something you're not able to do. gusa ngukora ibyo yaguhaye. He asks you to do what he told you to do. Niba yaraguhaye kuririmba uririmba. If he told you to sing sing. Niba yaguhaye faranga uzitanga mu bwami bw'Imana. Niba yaraguhaye umutima wo gufasha abantu bafasha. If he gave you a heart of helping help. Niba yaraguhaye gukora kuri kamera ubikore. If he gave you a talent of uh, Niba yaraguhaye gukunda isuku kumwe. If he gave you a uh, being clean clean the church. Ubikore uhaye umva ukorera Imana. But do it knowing that you're serving God. God is going to ask what he gave you. Serving God in the ability that he gave you. And another thing is serving God using your time. Uh, Jesus said I should serve. Serve while it's still. Uh, serve morning. while it's still uh, early. I should serve the God that has time. You, you're, maybe you're going to want to do it and you're not going to be able to. You still have time to serve him. You're still breathing. Let me tell you. Razor and Nyamutunzi. Uh, the rich man. The rich man. The rich man. They died. Umwe ngo aja mu gituza cha Abraham wa mukenari we Lazarus. Umwe in the chest of Abraham. Hanyuma ngo nyamutunzi. And then the rich man. Aza mu muriro. He went in the fire. No no, habaho negotiacio. And there was a negotiation. Ah yavuga ngo mutonyangirizeho kutuza. And he said he's going to give him a drop of water. Ah yamagara Lazarus. And when he was calling him. Baramubwira ati aha hantu hari umworera. Hari 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 gap nini. There's a gap. Ntabwo dushobora kubonana. And we're not able to see each other. Do you know what the rich man asked? He said, he said, ask them. He, he said, the mind is not able to happen. So they can go home and tell them that they shouldn't pass the way that I passed. And they said, even if you, were re, uh, you became alive, if they don't agree what Muhammad is telling them, if they don't agree to what he is telling them, even if a person uh, comes back again from the dead, they wouldn't agree. Let me tell you, those are people who died. If you gave them a chance to come back in the world, and you would give them an opportunity to come in the world, they would live how they didn't live. They do priorities they didn't have. Do you think they would live how they lived? Eh? Do you think they would live how they lived? Why can't you change when you're still alive? You still have time to be alive so when you go, you're not coming back. Why can't you change how you live? I think this word it, it put us in a line. It put us in a place where we should do a We should uh, do, uh, uh, do something when we're still alive because we're not going to do when we're dead. The last thing, uh, serving God has rewards. He said, if somebody serves me, God is going to respect them. If a person serves me, God is going to respect them. God is going to tell you, uh, sir, good servants, uh, you, uh, you were holy in uh, small things. Uh, 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 enter the kingdom that you, you were uh, prepared for. Let me tell you this. Everything we do, it's going to be measured. Paul told the Corinthians, and he said there is a, 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 a foundation that we were given, and that's salvation. And in that foundation, there's uh, three, two categories. Uh, the first one, there's people who, who decided to build the silver. Uh, Silver. And the others decided to build gold. And others decided to build stones. And there's another part that decided to build uh, grass. 
and trees. Uh, it's that salvation. But others decided to build gold, uh, silver, and uh, 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 precious stones. stones. And others decided to build trees, grass, and grass. And the problem we have is, is that the, uh, the works are going to be measured by fire. You guys know that the trees and grass that meet the fire, Ariko, they just finish. But the silver and gold, they stay there. Why? Uh, the fire that's going to measure is not gas. It's the word of God. God is going to check if if you did uh, using his commands. Everything you do uh, following his words it's going to give you back a reward. God God doesn't check. He doesn't measure. God doesn't measure the words. Mm-hmm. He measured why he made you do those works. <laughs> he measures why he gave you the <laughs> and those works. And that's, and that's what gives you the to do Even if a work is small, it's measured uh, by gold. And if you're serving and you, Ugakora, pushed, and you do it because you love it, Na mimi nataka kufika uimba pamoja na wao tutamshukuru mokozi alieto nono wa kwa damu walio udumu kwa pendo watamu imidi milele walio wali udumu kwa pendo what makes you uh, serve God? Did you know what serving God was? Uh, are you born again? Are you grown? Do you serve God how he wants you to serve him? Are you waiting for the rewards? If a person serves me, God is going to respect them. If a person serves me, God is going to respect them. Your money, I'm, I'm, I've am i got very shocked. The system took you. Uh, a man called Colonario. In the book of Acts, he was a soldier of the Romans. And he was a captain. He was busy. But he had good works. And he would pray to God. And he would teach the people in his home. And the angel uh, showed himself to him. He said, Colonel, you're praying. And your works. It was God remembered it. You have a system that's not going to allow you, you to pray. You have a system that's not going to allow you to serve God. God. You have a system that's holding you. But you guys need to learn to live. You guys need to learn to pray to God. And find time to be with God. And find time to serve God. Don't be pushed to serve God. Don't be pushed to come to church. It's uh, for your own If a person is serving God, respect them. This is a time to change your mindset. This is the time to know that you have a short time. The money that you get to use and you have to know God. The, the power you get to use it. The knowledge he gave you, use it. You have a reason to serve God. You have a reason to serve God. 
nisipoifanya kazi yake siku moja nitadaiwa navuye mu Buholandi ngoze kubabwira ngo i system ikigundi zawe mirira the system is not going to allow you imiryango izabasenyuka namuyireyo the families are not going to break izasenyuka nibareba the families are going to break you amafaranga yarabatwaye the money took took you there was no one who amafaranga ngo akorere nima he said there's nobody who can work for simba ibabwira ngo mureke ukora amafaranga mu yakorere i'm not saying don't work for ariko natwa imitima yanyu but let the amafaranga natumi imiryango yagisenyuka let's not let the money take abantu ni bari kufa amafaranga mu husband and wife have different accounts and they, they leave each other's rooms and the world takes the kids and the family is because the system took you you were captured by the system but there is a way you because you know you're coming from eternity you have time with your family you have to change your mind the system is not capturing you you live sorry if a person starts if a person starts Shalom goko gima Torero dimana Ni muhindu mitekerereze Ni muhindu ubuje mubayeho Ni muhindu imiryango yanyu Ni mutoza abana banyu Ni mubasengere Murabasengera se mugira umwanya Murabasengera se mubaho Do you pray for them are you system in America bakandagiye Takindi to bashoboza kuba muri America Nuda sengi imana you don't pray let me tell you muftama have a stock of a lot of things. ariko bibuze mu buzima but there's no life muftama faranga ku makonte yanyu ariko nta buzima buyarimo muftama su akomeye bitameshwa ariko amago yanyu nta mahoro abamwo oya mufutu tuzi duhambaye ariko nta munezero mufitemo ubone be nyuma wogira ngo muriho looking you from the ariko imbere muri mwebwe Ndagira ngo musubire kufatira rw'Imana. Ndagira ngo musubire mu fatira rw'Imana. Ndagira ngo muhindukire muve muri izo ngizo. Isirashira no kwifuza kwayo. Hari bintu bihaye bigenda bihinduka. Isirashira no kuza kwe ko biri huta kubonera. Umuhunga siga yazuka mu gitondo bukiraye bari mukobwa. A boy is born in the Isirashira no kuza kuri mwebwe ni bisanzwe gwe. That's normal. Ibibazo twari dufite muri Afrika. The problems we had in Africa. Of poverty. It was smaller than the ones we have right now. You will be happy as a poor person. But you get checks every day. They make you eat for God. You will be happy as a poor person. 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 God told Israel don't forget after eating. Muvuge ngo amen. Let's say amen. Muvuge ngo amen. Let's say amen. Mongere amen. Amen. Mongere amen. Amen. Ndagira ngo mufate ingamba. I want you guys to uh, make plans. Ndagira ngo mufate ingamba. I want you guys to make plans. ingamba zo gukizwa. Make plans of uh, be, uh, being born again because we're in a short time. Ichaka bi ufate umwanya kubana n'Imana. Have time to be with God. Koko hauja mu gihe kiteka. Because you're going to return to life. Ufate umuryango wa umwanya. Have time for your family. Kukazi nti bazoga umwanya mu muryango. Uh, the work is not going to give you time to pray. They're not going to give you time to pray. They're not going to give you time to pray. They're not going to give you time to pray. But there's something you should do. And you should say you're supposed to live how God wants you to live. Then you'll live in a system of Babylon. But this system will never be the same. 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 Ariko yabaye akorera Imana kandi anezeza Imana. I want you to change the way you live. Bitabaye zo. Impuzi za kumaza igenda zizi muha mubona ni nkeye. If you don't uh, a lot of people are going to die. Nimusengere abana banyu. Pray for your kids. Nimwisengere namwe. Nimukorera Imana. Nimwitange. Nimugaruke mugaruke Imana. Come back to God. Mwaguruka tusenge. Hari umuntu umva twasengana? Is there anybody who wants me to pray with them? Haru muntu umva ashaka kugira impinduka yahindura. Is there anybody who wants to change? Raise your hand. Imana ikumushe. Imana ikumushe. Imana ikumushe. Imana ikumushe. Ni lazima 
ni mtu mkiye mokozi bwana wangu nisipo ifanya kazi yake siku moja ita Lazima ni mtu mki mokozi mokozi wanawangu nisipo ifanya kazi yake siku urumva haricho hindura uko aruba yaho tabwo rugenze rwawe rugarukira muri America tabwo hariho herezo ry'urugenze urugenze rurakomeje beneta kado sengi ba za muri kigenze cha uru kiganza cyawe tugusengera imana ugira ngo imana igushobose ugira ngo imana igushobose imana igushobose imana igushobose Mana ndi mbere yao Tanda banda la costanda la shari de la Nda sengera ili tori no jawe mana yachu Uzimamvu ya mulimunu wese Azamu ikigansa Hindura imiteke nene seyu boko gawe Umanuri mbarega mumusimamu gawe Ngo babashe kumenya imamvu wali kumi Imamvu wali mbule amerika Imamvu wahume kumuka wazimamu Bahishurire Bakane mbinduka Bakane guhindukira Bakane kuyoborwa nawe Bakane kugukorera Bakane kubaho Ubugingo bwabo ndabusengera Umanuri imbaraga zawe kubuzima bwa Abatsikamiwe ndabasengeye ngo babugo Imiryango yabo ndabisengera Abana yabo ndabasengera Imitima yabo ndabisengera Umanuri imbaraga zawe kubuzima bwa bo ma Kinigihe cyawe icampa ukagenderera ubwoko bwa icampa ukagenderera itorero ryawe icampa ukarema amashimwe abatarakizwa bafata imyanzuro yo gukizwa abadakora bafata imyanzuro yo gukora abadasenga bafata imyanya yo gusenga ndagushimye mwami Yesu muka wera ndagushimye kutwikiriye ubwoko bwawe kumundikiye ubwoko bwawe kandi utuburiye utwakerekezo utwigishije kugira ngo tubashe kugukorera tukiriho urakoze mana kuko hari tukose urakoze mana kwa ripindu kukose urakoze mana urakoze mana kuko hari tukose ugoko bwa buragutakiye ugoko bwa burakuririye kugira ngo urengere utabara urema mashimwe mu buzima bwawe ahari humye muri bo watembe shimigesi watembe shimigesi abantu barumye barananiwe bakitege hari ko baseze oh Damari sola kostike foniga Ure kibaraga zawe zima nuke kuzima bga Basuira nebzabi hebzo gusenga Zabi hebzi zabi garu kemu zima bga wo Zabi hebzi zabi garu kemu ni wo Ama go ya wuya garu kufatilo Ama na wa garu kufatilo Imiwele ho ya wuya garu kufatilo Uye nduri mitekeleze ya wo Ngezi na bja esu kristo Senga ya baruguwa ibari hano Uwa kirishi kiganza cha Kukurima Hafti wazo vitandu kanyi bari hano Ure kuri mbaraga zawe Ziwa suwize uri wazo wafite Uwa kingu uri mirjango Kukuri mana Ngezi narja yesu tukukome ya mashi Amen